Hello everybody and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, the Old World Blues mod, the Monster of the East. The thing about this mod is, first of all, I have never actually played this, so I am completely blind. I've seen maybe like a couple episodes of someone do it, or other people play it, like maybe like maybe five or six minutes, not a whole lot. But for the most part, I am near completely blind to this mod. Um, I've wanted to try this out for a while, although I've never really had the chance to. I've just kind of, this always just kind of fell in the back of the, back of my mind. And, uh, never really kind of, kind of just recently resurged, uh, from my headspace. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with this mod, but I have played Fallout New Vegas. So I kind of know this is based off the New Vegas lore. Like, you have Kaiser's Legion. Uh, you have, um, you know, the NCR. You have Mr. House and all that, so... Yeah, I kind of get the idea of this, but uh, it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to play the... You can get the West Coast, you can get Mexico, you can get uh, Texas. I'm going to play the West Coast. So let's just do that. Um, you get Isolationist, you get the... Um, Rule Tyrant, who's this? What is he? Um, government, Rule of One. The Generalissimo. Yeah, so this is a new California Republic. The NCR. Um... Uh, the Mojave Territories. The Gente del Sol. I guess it's just like some dictator or whatever. Uh, you get uh, all these really cool things. I'm pretty sure you get like the Brotherhood of Steel and stuff like that. But um, you get the New Mormons. Or the New Can New Canaan. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, But you know what? I think I'm going to... I'm actually going to go with Caesar. Because I, re I really find the... Um, the uh, Caesar's Legion in the game really fascinating. I like the concept... Of, you know, sort of an apocalyptic wasteland, and then a Caesar, like a, you know, sort of like a Caesar rises up to be like the actual Caesar. And also, because I am a noob, I do want to play as one of the bigger factions. So I will completely admit that that is one of the things I want to, you know, I want to do. I don't want to start off as some, like, small-ass country get completely freaking conquered. Okay, I like this. I push button, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Uh, dough, baby. Got bright for you for having you in the pit, new blood. Uh, I like how they... I like how they did this for the, um... Uh, it, it does give me a Fallout the vibe, the, the labels for the difficulties. I'm just gonna be average Joe. Obviously, I am brand new to this. Alright, so we're playing as the Kaiser's Legion, and we shall conquer the West Coast for... Well, Caesars. We shall create an American Rome. A new Rome will hopefully outlive the actual Rome. Alright, so Pip Boy Plus Alt Tech. That's cool. Uh yep. Yeah. Alright. Mechanics. Uh, here you can find a list of all the mechanics if you want to read more about a specific mechanic. The Flower Wars. Oh, uh so you need to a Nueva Aztlan and the Chichen eats an empire to represent the constant struggle for land between the two territories. Okay, so I guess that's like a Mesoamerican thing. Alright, so let's close that up. So basically we got all this. You got Mexico here, which is pretty... Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so there are a bunch of, like, uh, indigenous Mexicans, basically. Actually, not probably indigenous Mexicans, but they're like, uh, you know, the um, uh, Mesoamericans. That's probably the best way to say it. Alright, so Red Sun City has become home to the Butcher Gates. We can now trade for goods and build business relations with them. Okay, so I guess we're going to research some stuff. Um, I guess we're going to go with industry and research probably, because that's what I like to personally do. Um, and also, it's always what you do in Hearts of Iron Normal, so maybe we'll just follow suit. Uh, production efficiency, yes. Uh, construction basics, yes. And specialized production. I'll do that. And we do have a little bit of research boost, so we might as well use them. Okay, so our focuses. Let's see. Expedition to Blackfoot. Sure. It's the only one. Alrighty. Subsidize the two puppet, the two sons. Uh, subsidize Navajo. The Legion Denarius Economy. Business favor, tax luxury goods. The Hoover Dam power plant. Where's the whip and there's a... Where there's a whip, there's a way. I guess you can use slaves to... 
Using a slave as a bodyguard, most aren't exactly motivated to keep you alive. You know what I mean. Your current slavery level is three. Okay, this probably wasn't the most choice if I wanted an easy run of this. But you know what? We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Alright, so I'll get basic melee weaponry. I might as well do that. Uh, get some pipe guns. Uh, some, I guess some support equipment would be nice. Uh, tribal scout kit. Sure, I'll do that. Uh, pipe guns. Sure, why not? And dynamite. Let's do that. Let's just do three, three, three. Um, maybe get some more stuff for pipe guns because that's kind of where we're needing to upgrade. Let's do that. Uh, free civilian factories. Let's build. Let's build maybe, um, let's build some citizen civilian factories. That should be a good idea. What the hell? Okay, um. Alright, so we're just gonna build some here. Nope, actually those are, those are, no, those are, uh, our vassal territories, I guess they are. So, we'll build them, build them in our territory. Because we need those factories. Out here. Should be good. We'll just do that. Um, decisions available. Subsidize Puffet. Puffet. the Puppet. The Navajo. Okay, we can increase the speed a little bit. Let's do that. While we're waiting. Um, I'm going to move all these. We're going to move all these legions to. Let's just move them to Flagstaff. And we'll uh, figure out what to do with them after. Our decisions. Manage the Legion Denarius economy through these decisions. Um, grant economic support of 15 caps per quarter to Navajo. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Fuck it. Probably a terrible idea, but I don't know. All right, so I kind of read the tutorial a bit. I didn't read much, so we're gonna. I just sped through it, so we're gonna basically do this for better or for worse. We'll probably die, but let us commence. The glory of Caesar. Okay. Okay, so the expedition to the Blackfoot has been completed. Uh, the Torch of Civilization. <clears throat> In 2247, the Mormon missionary Joshua Graham, uh, Calhoun, Edwards, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, the Mormon missionary Joshua Graham, as well as two followers of the Apocalypse, Calhoun and Edward Salo, were captured by the Blackfoot tribe, bystanders to a typical tribal war. Uh, but just to the tribe turned to orders, which turned to leading in battle, which turned into dominion over the tribe, naming himself Caesar. Okay, so this is how, how he became Caesar, basically. He trained the Blackfoot in the ways of the old war and helped them conquer their six rival tribes. He showed them how to clean and maintain guns, operate the small unit tactics, <clears throat> create their own explosives, and to strike at their weakest enemies first. Divide et impera. Divide and conquer. By the end of the war was done. He was no longer a follower of the apocalypse. He was Caesar of a new empire. His greatest introduction was... Okay, so we could get production costs, uh, division organization, and infantry equipment reliability. That's not bad. Division organization for 10. That's kind of useless because I have this right here, which grants the same thing. And... Oh, this exertion will worsen Caesar's health. Oh, right. Caesar has bad health in this. Yeah, I remember in the game now. Well, worse than Caesar's health, where he get reliability. You know what? I'll risk it right off the bat, because why not? Okay, we'll get uh, the Janus face of Caesar. Uh, Caesar's mercy after a battle was as renowned as his brutality during war. Or, God, I'm sorry. I cannot read today. My apologies. Uh, Caesar's mercy after a battle was as renowned as his brutality during it. For every slave broken to the legion's lash, there was a farmer who thanked the legion for killing a raider. For every tribe who lost their name, there was a town that blossomed under the Arizona sun. Okay. Can I play some music? Okay, here we go. Oh, is there, um... Okay, I want to see what's here. 
Uh, is there big iron? If there's big iron on this, I want to play big iron. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Big iron. Come on, baby. Where's big iron? All right. So, it's going to watch these quick ones go by here. I'm actually going to speed up to max speed. Et tumor brute. Something has been off with Great Caesar of late. He has not mentioned it, but some of his aides have seen him hold his head as if in pain, forget key certain details, and somehow seem as if he's no longer as special as he once was. Although the Legion frowns upon medicine, perhaps an exception can be made for Caesar. But where would we even find the ability to heal such a man, or such a sickness? The center of technology and learning may contain a way to cure him, but where would we find such a tool? Okay, so we can't actually see the stress. <clears throat> but a center of technology can cure him. Okay, so that is something to do that we need to consider. Okay, so the six, 86 tribes and the civilized societies. They managed to forge a society east of the Colorado. Okay. We get recovery rate, the building of war support, or all of that, but it increases, it worsens his health. I think we're going to actually go for recovery rate. We're going to have very good recovery for our units. I mean, we have already have plus 15. Okay, you Our guys go... Okay, we're going to get a new, new uh, general here. Aurelius or Lucius? So he's strong, and he's enduring. He's strong, and he's intelligent. I think we're going to go with Aurelius. Ah, uh, so I guess what to talk about. Um, Yeah, actually speaking... Oh, sorry. Just before we begin... I just want to do this. Uh, speaking... Oh, I guess that's done. Alright. I guess my, uh, my point will have to wait. Uh, Joshua and Graham, the Malpay Legate, never saw a contradiction between his Mormon faith and his commitment to the Legion. Graham saw the Legion as a scourge for the corruption and sins of the Wasteland, just as Joshua harried the old Canaanites. So he would harry the wickedness and greed and saw... Graham was disgusted by the perceived corruption of his people and, some whispered, planned to lead the Legion home to cleanse his nation. Others thought he abandoned his faith entirely, devoted to conquest and power, and Graham himself, only Caesar knew his goals. Um, he scourged Caesar's enemies like the Amalekites. He and Caesar sought justice together in their way. Malpay Legate becomes a general, a commanding officer. Uh, he, desert, he desecrated two sons' temples to mock idolatry. Two motorized units and salvaged parts. And the legate, legate's accomplishments disturbed Caesar himself. Okay, so it's basically all this. Again, the, this will just worsen his health. I think I can use a new general. Let's make him a general. How good is he? I'll pay like... Oh, wow, this guy's pretty damn good. Agile in the desert. He's intelligent and he's strong. That's pretty good. That that is really good. I like it. Oh, he's got six maneuver build or supply consumption. That's pretty good. That's very good. Phoenix rises. Okay, the Legion will prepare to deal. Wait, was one of the region's first major conquests, and to some, it marked the date the Legion turned from a band of tribes into an empire. <clears throat> we use this. Uh. Fools they are. They do not, but they're. Rumentari are aware of their plans. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to deal with the revolution. That's going to be fun. Very fun. Okay, and Caesar, son of Mars. Alright, so actually back to the topic of what I was going to say. Um, speaking of Rome and Roman references and Caesar and all that. I actually finished, um, about a couple days ago, I finished the uh, series Rome, the HBO series. Uh, it's old. It's an old series. But, um, it's actually pretty good. Um, I remember watching the first series when I was actually in Europe. I took a, I took a trip to Europe some summers back and I watched the first season there. It was really good. I liked it. And I never really had the chance to, um... <clears throat> okay, so that's completed. Uh, I never really had the chance to finish it before, but I had... 
when I was here, when I'm back in Canada, I watched the second series, uh, season, and I finished it recently, like maybe earlier last week, and pretty good. Um, first season was definitely better than the second, but it was it was good nonetheless. I'll get into a little bit later. I just want to read this. Uh, the Cult of Vulcan. Some outsiders claim the Legion disdains advanced technology, but this is a half-truth. The Legions build power plants, complex fortifications, and equips its elite soldiers with anti-material rifles. Uh, marksman carbines, and ballistic fists. Technology of the Legion is a fine servant, but a poor master. The Cult of Vulcan handles all technology for the Legion and ensures that technology exists to serve man, not man to serve technology. A uh, mix of priests and engineers, the Cult of Vulcan, supervises slaves that mine coal, forge weapons, and craft ammunition. Okay, so we can either... We're not going to get his health. We're not going to deal with his health issues. We're, we're going we're gonna to keep him... We're going to keep him stable, you know? Don't want to kill him off. He's our leader. That's some good bonuses, too. Wow. Division organization, stability, and war support. That's good. Um, So we can get either research speed plus four with the Brotherhood. Or they build chariots for a god. Which grants armored personnel carriers soft attack... Um, <clears throat> motorized vehicle soft attack breakthrough plus 10 breakthrough plus 10 soft attack for armored personnel carriers and motorized vehicles I'm going to say they build chariots because I would like to have those that'd be cool I do like the sound of strong chariots let's see this this is actually a pretty wow this is a very expensive focus tree alright so like I was saying um, yeah I really liked the um I did like the first season, and I sort of like... Uh, it actually takes place with two different characters. Um, Titus Polo and Lucius Farinas in the show. They're not real characters, but they kind of are witnessing the fall of... Sort of the rise of Caesar and his... Obviously, his assassination. Spoiler alert. Um, and the... Sort of the rise of Augustus. Uh, you know, he they fight Pompey. Um, well, actually, it sort of goes through, like, Caesar's war with the... Um, Okay, fuck! Okay, everything just keeps fucking me over. Okay, yeah, I've already choose your cards are. I don't care. Okay. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. So like I was saying, it basically goes through, um... Oh my fucking god. This is annoying me. Uh... Okay, uh, fuck. Legion will prepare to deal with these rebels. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll just do that. So basically, it kind of, uh, starts after in 52 BC at the... Battle of Elysia, after, after Caesar beats uh, Vercingetorix at Elysia, and he sort of goes back to, um, he's starting to go back to Rome. And it kind of goes through, um, you know, it basically, again, like I was saying, it goes through uh, uh, the fall, the rise and fall of Julius Caesar, and then the rise of Augustus, and the ultimate sort of war. It deals with, like, the wars between Antony and uh, Octavian Augustus, and, um, you know, Julius Caesar and Pompey and all that, and it, it's actually very interesting. Although the characters, uh, the two main characters themselves aren't actually real. Um, it's kind of interesting how the, um, you could, you could kind of see, like, the, the lives of the characters. They sort of are kind of a lot influenced by the outside factors. So, like, one person will rise, you know, high up into, kind of raise their status in life. And then something will happen and it'll bring them back down. And then it kind of goes the other way. So they kind of alternate. Um... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so that was very interesting. Um, I, I liked I liked that show. Although I would definitely say the first season is much better, because the guy who actually plays uh, Julius Caesar, the actor, plays um, what's his name? Uh, plays in if you watch Game of Thrones. Plays um, what's his name? Uh, the leader of the free people. I think it's uh, I forget his name now. It's off the tip of my tongue. I can't remember it. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, Mant Raider. Yeah, they're, they're the same actor, so you kind of, you get to see, um, I don't know, I always kind of think it's like Julius Caesar's just Mance Raider in Roman armor, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, infantry training, let's get warrior training. Division time minus three, yes, please. Okay, so construction basics are done. Uh, okay. Robotics, vehicles, a scrap motorcycle... Slave Collars. Pioneer Kit. Gene Gladius, Basic Weaponry. 
I'm gonna go with. Uh. I can go with. I can't go with industry actually, unless it's agriculture. You know what? I'll go with agriculture. I'm not really sure what I should actually be doing right now. I'm just kind of you know going with the flow, just see what works. Okay, so unrest amongst the slaves. While our slaves have never been terribly happy with their working conditions and social standing. Well, gee, I wonder why. You know, they're, they're literal slaves. Uh, core demands are little more than better conditions of food. We risk settling a dangerous precedent should we, allow, should we bend to the slaves. Crushing them, on the other hand, should surely break the spirit of the slaves for decades to come. But could cost, but could costly and menace stability. Make minor concessions. Crush the revolt. Or Caesar will crush the revolt personally. Uh, Caesar will do it personally. Because fuck the slaves. They are not getting one concession. Because there are slaves. Why would we give them concessions? That's not the point of a slave. Radstag cattle, Candle Shop. Uh, in the quaint outskirts of North Phoenix, a mom and pop shop has made quite a splash. Rad stag tallow candles they sell, scented with the best pulverized floater teeth. Uh, some may say it smells like raspberry with a hint of bergamot. Uh, others can only... Thankfully, these new businesses only pay their taxes. They buy a few. Some of our advisors could do some relaxing candles, especially Jeremy. Our people are doing well. Uh, gain some stability? Sure, why not? Okay, we're going to build up combat language, I guess. We can get a spy, right? Yeah, alright, let's see this. Smooth talker. Fermentarius. Well, I'm going to get this guy. He's obviously way better than everyone here. Not even a question. Vulpus Inculta. Okay, decisions are available. What decisions are available? Um... Alpe and the old wall, world wall. Okay, um, I'm not sure what that actually does. Apparently, I will uh, get an event. Bridge, the bridge across the divide. A business favor. I'm not really going to be too concerned with that. Let's see, I could probably improve something here. Uh, let's go with division attack. Yeah, that, that sounds good. He's a genius, and it's 15% attack. Yes, please, I will do that. Um, you, I guess I'll just go down for this. I'm just going for industry right now, because it's a safe bet. It's always good to have good industry in this game. Regardless of what the reasons are. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Do need the wastelands, or the wastes? Uh, Navajo Rail. Okay, so this is all industrial, looks like. Um, yeah, looks like all industrial. The Rubicon. Destruction, unfair advantage, Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, do not ask what the fox says. Battle for Hoover Dam. A Sonara et Chihuahua. And the 87th Tribe. Conquest of New Okay. Okay. We can basically, these help conquer things. Uh, where is everything? Where is everything? Like, where is New Canaan? Uh, New Canaan is... Okay, it's way over here. Dead horses. I guess these are all natives here. Crazy horns. Uh, Rond of 90. Sorrows. Yeah. So New Canaan is way up here. If I go here... Uh, the White Legs exists. Matrix calling upon the Nomads. The Honor of the Bull. Can set Volunteer Forces against National Spirit. Um, this will set the White Legs on a path to become your puppet. Okay, we will do... Uh, the State of the Legion. I guess get more. Our son of a bitch. Uh, General's Honor... Rustling Cowboys. Grant Caesar's Legion claims and on for Cowboy Country's core territory. Where's Cowboy Country? 
Is that just like all here? Uh, okay, you know what? We'll go with um. Wow, this is so expansive. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the 97th tribe, and we'll deal with sort of up north here, and we'll go towards Canaan. I think that's the best idea. All right, so offensive decisions, uh, or quarterly income report. Eh, I don't care. Why did they even bother? Uh, the Phoenix awoke to set a, a set of crucifixes. Of course. Praise Caesar. Crucify our enemies. As is tradition. I'm gonna cut this army in half. No need for an army to be that big. You can get, uh... Malpace Legate, because that's clearly the better general. And you... I guess Lucius will be the... Uh, the... Not the... The... The Marshal. Yeah. Okay, North Phoenix can level up to four. What do I do? Do I just, um... Wait, these are developments and things like that. I can... North Phoenix is the main node of Caesar's Legion. Towards a possible promotion. Okay, promotion node. Yeah, okay, I'll just promote it. Alright, that's cool. Sounds good. Modify our government. Let's just see, what can we do? Outside volunteers, outsider auxiliaries. Uh, re build more military factories. Sure. Let's build more military factories. How is our production doing, by the way? Oh, we're actually doing fairly well. We'll do that. Uh, Multi-purpose equipment. More industry, friends. More and more industry. Um, I guess we can go second level. Yes, we can. Scavenge tools. Or 7, 2.5, and 4. 10, 3, and 6. This gets us 10, 3, 6. This is 10, 3, 6. This is... Eh, I'll go scavenge tools. Fuck it. The generous like him belong on a cross. The gent city allied with Gloria. Ah, uh, good old, good old Kaisar reference there. Organized agriculture. Um... Work is needed. 20 factories in a state. 3 production cap. Factory output. Recruitable population factor 2. I'm gonna get max factories. I would like to get more industry. That's always nice. So calling upon the nomads. Uh, we can gain Futamari friends. Or fr Frumentari friends. Which grants max volunteer force divisions. 8. Divisions required for sending volunteer force nice twenty percent, or we can get the savages, savage la slaves for a savage land. Uh, this will make on become your puppet. Uh, let's go with savages because I want puppet. Yeah, so it is um <clears throat> very interesting. You know, I'm gonna I want to talk more about the uh okay whatever, I want to talk more about the series. So, um, yeah, it was actually a really good show. Again, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, although I would say it's not as historically accurate, obviously, because the two people that's coming from didn't actually exist. But, I mean, even in the context of, like, the actual history, some of it's a little inaccurate. I mean, for example, um, Caesarian, uh, in the second season, when Augustus essentially defeats Mark Antony and, you know, takes Egypt or whatever, the son, Caesarian, who... Is supposed to be the son of Caesar. It's believed to be the son of Caesar. He actually lives in the show, even though in actual reality he was killed by Augustus. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's get encryption. Yes, I'll get encryption. Or should I get... We'll get encryption. Alright, uh, yeah, so he basically dies, although he, in, in the real life he died, in the real history, but in the show he lives. Or, I mean, for example, there's sort of a thing where in even in the show... It's actually not Caesar's kid. It's considered to be uh, the character Titus Pullo's kid, which is kind of it's kind of funny considering that he, you know, basically some random infantryman essentially cucked Caesar. <laughs> yeah. 
No training. Uh, training time minus 10%. Division organization. Division organization for bettering training instructors. Uh, let's see. Bush Ranger division attrition. Uh, intellectual support, infantry equipment breakthrough, uh, resistance growth speed in our states occupied by the enemy, Vulpus and Kulta. I will get probably the prefect for the ink, uh, equipment breakthrough. That's a good idea. And maybe get, uh, War Shaman. Let's see. Max, oh, those are motorized dog. Okay, I don't really use that. Daily people. Uh, let's get a shaman for recovery rate. And I'm gonna have a really good recovery on my units because they are getting massive amounts of recovery rate. Uh, military theorist, sure, why not? It's Centurion Martinus. Martinius. Oh, it's Martinus, not Martinius. Okay, so we're gonna be working towards um, the new Canaan. Which is what I would like to see happen. Bill's army declare war on carbon. Okay. Uh, tax the puppet. Uh, Tucson. Where's Tucson? I think it's here, isn't it? When mothers. Where's Tucson? Tucson. I see your independence. Where can I see that? Um. Tucson is in Caesar's Legion faction with other nations. Caesar Le uh, Caesar's Legion is the faction leader. Not to promote to that level. It needs more political power. Uh, the White Legs accept our offer. Okay. So we have got the Savages for the Savage Land, which the White Legs are right here. So we're going to work towards making them a puppet. Uh, Ulysses Instruction. Teach the White Legs how to use firearms and support weapons like civilized wastelanders. Um, let's get um, let's get Ulysses instruction. That'd be a good idea. We'll arm them. We'll arm our new puppets. It's the least we can do for them. I mean, we are their benevolent dictators, right? We are their benevolent rulers, so we need to at least we should at least be a little bit generous and give them some arms. Okay, this needs to be upgraded, so we're going to put all that into there. Ah, decisions are available. All this stuff. Tax Navajo. Tax Tucson. A business favor. I don't know what that does. We're just going to do that. Alright, so. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Because I think I'm going to cut it here. So I hope you have enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to play this. And I will see you guys in the next installment.